Why would I consider this Blue Ridge climb to be the king of all Iron Man climbs? And I've looked at nine different iconic Iron Man climbs, eliminated several of them that weren't even close, and we'll look at the others that are in contention to go after the Bear Claw climb at Iron Man Blue Ridge in Roanoke, Virginia. Now, stay right here because I'm going to bring you some really great information. Looking at the most iconic Iron Man climbs, I had to set some criteria. How will you determine which one of these becomes part of our group? I've set three bullet points. Number one, it must be an Iron Man branded event. They're the biggest, they have the largest pool of races to pull from. Number two, had to be a half or a full Ironman event. Number three, we're talking individual climb. We're not talking the hilliest course. We're not talking the most elevation gain through the whole course. We are talking about an individual climb. So what did I do? It came down to looking at nine races that had individual climbs that were considered to be ones that worthy of taking a look at. How did I find them? Well, I Googled these phrases, Iron Man climb, epic Iron Man climb, best Iron Man climb, hardest Iron Man climbs, and iconic Iron Man climbs. And that brought me to several lists on the internet where I took and looked at the individual profiles of 30 races to come up with these nine races. After looking at those nine races, I tossed four of them right out. They did not have an iconic climb. It would match up to Bear Claw at Ironman Blue Ridge 70.3. Now let's take a look at each individual. Today's video is being brought to us by JS Coaching Systems Individual Training. I would love the opportunity to interview to be your coach. So email me right here. I'll send you a questionnaire and get a chance to start the interview process. On to our contenders. Coming in at number six is Ironman Wales. This is an iconic course for its hilliness, but it's a two loop course with a lot of overall gain but the biggest climb is only 520 feet total gain over 10 miles. Pretty tame. I'm not going to cut it. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Number five, Ironman France. Now this is the Mac Daddy for overall elevation gain at 9,219 feet. It's 2,300 foot climb does beat Ironman Blue Ridge's 2,000 foot climb, but that's over 10 miles at less than 4% overall average grade. Pretty tame on the world's <laughs> single climb. Sounds dangerous in here. Number four is Snow Canyon in St. George, and now a very famous climb because of the Ironman World Championships and Ironman 70.3 World Championships that are being held there. But it's not up to the task. At only 1,100 feet, over five miles, it's not gonna get there as far as overall height, but it does get points for the possibility of very poor weather, <laughs> absolutely beautiful views. Sorry, Snow Canyon, I guess that bear is getting close. Number three on our list is Ironman Chattanooga in Tennessee here in the United States. This is a tough one because it has several really punchy climbs, lots of rolling hills, but the biggest is only 950 feet with points for the view. But guys, <laughs> just not cutting it. Number two is Ironman Hawaii. It's a tough course. It's an iconic course. It's a well-known course, but the toughest climb there is 700 feet over four miles. But the reason that this one comes in number two is because it gets tons and tons and tons of weather points. The views are amazing, but the wind can knock you right off the bike. But 700 feet, Ironman Hawaii, aloha folks, you just <laughs> not there. Now that comes to our number one contender. This course really set the standard as far as tough, iconic climbs. There are several climbs on this course that could have made the list above several of the other total races that we saw, but it takes place on a desolate volcanic wasteland. And it's open to, again, punishing crosswinds, several contending climbs, as I said, but the biggest and the toughest of the climbs is Fire Mountain. This climb is 1,328 feet over seven miles, and it's a contender because of the conditions that you would have to ride in. That's a good one, but right now, I wanna show you why I believe that the Bear Claw Climb at Ironman Blue Ridge is the most iconic climb.
Iron Man does not allow video cameras. So I've taken the time to drive out here back to the epic climb. I'm gonna set up three cameras on my car and hopefully I can get you guys a view or an idea or a feel of how hard this climb actually was. So they say there's eight turns, but I'm gonna tell you what, there's four turns in between each one of the eight turns. Here we go, heading on up the mountain to do the Bear Claw climb about 20 miles north of uh, Roanoke, Virginia. <laughs> So after a beautiful swim and a split transition so coming on that one, we hit a 20 mile rolling hill ride with a negative gain before we got to this cute little town of Buchanan. Made a right turn, fast downhill, right again, in an uphill grade that climbs 2,000 feet up with not one flat or one downhill section. What I've done is I'm driving up at 20 miles and I have the speed ramped up on certain sections of the video to help get up to the good stuff quicker. At the bottom, you're looking at about a five and a half percent grade. After climbing up about a five and a half foot grade, we hit turn number one, about 18% on the inside, 12% on the outside. Legs are burning. Take a look at that right there. The bear is gonna get you. Inside to the outside trying to get up these hills. Coming into the Jefferson National Forest, there are no more man-made objects on the side of the road, just natural beauty. Now we're climbing up the five and a half to six and a half percent grade, heading up toward turn four. on turn four where we get back into the switchbacks. Turn four through turn six, we're back and forth, back and forth, and it was really quite beautiful, but really quite hard to, at the same time. <laughs> turn seven your legs are getting tired they're starting to hurt and you hit a pretty good turn here quite steep on the inside 
you can go to the outside and miss that steep part. After some more S's, we'll get into the turn eight area where you have a 6.5 average all the way to the top. As you get by this bridge right here, this is the top of the actual bear claw climb. You've beaten the bear, but you have not beaten the climb. You go by what was right here, the aid station, and we start heading up the Blue Ridge Parkway. Roads get a little nicer. They get a little shallower at four and a half to five and a half percent, but we go another mile to a mile and a half at this grade before we hit the high point of the climb. absolutely beautiful ride. The point you enter the Jefferson Forest all the way to the top of the hill, there's no structures, no driveways, no roads coming in. It is absolutely you and the beauty of the area. The top of the climb is the payoff. You get to ride about seven miles dead on the top of the closed Blue Ridge Parkway with views that no other course could possibly offer. It is absolutely spectacular. Don't let this climb intimidate you. Train for it, set up your bike for it, and get that euphoric feeling when you beat the claw. Hey, drop down below in the description and tell me what you thought of the claw, if you did it, or if you have a climb that you think could challenge the claw for the best. But how do you train for this? Well, check out this video right here on simulated hill climbing. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Coach John.